Howdy everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is Sky Hurricane 89 here, and hope you're doing great today. And in the last part, we defeated Johnny. He's our main man. We he fights in sleep. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on. Oh, yeah, Johnny's like, get out of my side before I change my mind. And uh, let's go ahead and put Toadstool in instead of Bowser and. As you see, Toadstool has a... Uh, she's up to level 16. I don't know if I want to keep the experience. I think I will uh, put something else on her instead of experience booster. Let's see. I might pay to put a... Uh, safety. I don't know. I'll keep it on her. I think we should be okay. So, uh... Last part, we got our fifth star piece from defeating Johnny. But now we need to go back to Seaside Town and talk to that crazy, weird elder. Oh, man. Uh, we already know something's wrong. <laughs> you found a star, but your journey ends here. You're so gullible. I'm your edific member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder. My impersonation of a normal person was flawless. Your search for the stars is worried, Smithy. So if I take the star back to him, I earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Alright, I'll hand it over. <laughs> and to think I got the star without even soling my hands. I'm such a genius, it amazes me sometimes. Alright, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here soon. Oh, man. That dude's so crazy. You may wonder, why did I why did I do that? Well, that door right there is locked. And um, there are some people being held captive in there. And uh, Blade's late. What's taking them so long? We need to get out of here. But yeah, if you uh, don't hand over the star, they will actually torture the people in there, and then uh, that will keep you from getting an item, a better item later on. But not so fast there. The star's a gift to me, my Mario. You spineless dogs have no coat of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Great formation. Oh man, what's happening? Oh gosh. Oh, oh what? Oh man. And this shall freaked me out the first time I saw this. And uh, before you uh, before you move on from the sunken ship, I strongly suggest that you have a, a, at least have Toadstool in this battle. Uh, Gino is really probably the best I have. Uh, but you, I mean, you could have Mallow was pretty good too. I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, because this boss here, Redivik, is actually weak to thunder. So uh, we lost our fifth star piece. So technically, uh, we're back down to four. So uh, your Redivik has it here. So uh, obviously, this is the main battle we got to do to to uh, get it. And you see, he has water blast. The reason I have Toast so long is Toast is almost a must in this battle. It, this battle is extremely difficult without Toast. Uh, hence why Toast is probably uh, the, be, the uh, honestly the best character in this game. Um, believe it or not. <laughs> um, but I am still trying to do my super jumps. Uh, Geno's really good because you can do Geno boost. And you know, I will definitely use Toast for healing. So yeah, this really, really got crazy here. Uh, now, what happens is, if you don't hand over the star, uh, they will go and tickle or torture or whatever the people in that build, the real elder in that building. And uh, I'll just go ahead and say, you actually get, I think you get a flower box, which uh, is five flower points. Uh, if you just hand over the star immediately, whereas uh, you'll it'll go down to a flower jar, and then I think it'll eventually go down to a flower tab if you keep letting them get tortured. But you have to hand over the star anyway. I mean, it's not even option, optional in order to progress the story. It won't let you leave uh, Seaside Town without doing so. But Eurydivik is a very hard boss. Probably the... Um, in order of progression through the normal progression through the game, this is probably the hardest boss, I must say. Uh, so, I mean, if you really have trouble 
which you shouldn't, you know, not not if you have this party that I have. Um, and if you have the safety ring on Toadstool or Mario, you should be fine. And uh, I do have the experience booster on Toadstool, as you saw earlier. Uh, and that's going to help her get more experience from this. She has an experience booster. And I've kept that on her for a while now. Uh, because uh, there's something coming up. There's like an optional boss battle. And really, uh, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's... <laughs> It is, a. Uh, it, it's gonna be brutally hard anyway, but, I mean, it would be probably impossible for me to do uh, without having totes to level up pretty decently. Which I'm not worried about the others being leveled up, but you need at least totes to level up. Because she is, you know, the healer, and she can bring your characters back and all that. She can heal everybody. So yeah, she is amazing. Toadstool just, or Peach is just plum amazing in this game. But Mario, he has the safety ring, so that makes him pretty good. And I'm completely neglected to talk about uh, the Mirage attack. Now, Mirage attack, Eurydivic splits into two. And, um, well, what you want to do is uh, you want to battle the one that the cursor is automatically on because that's the real one. One of them's a fake and one of them's real. And uh, when you use, like if you had Mallow and did the psychopath, the uh, the fake one would say, I'm not the real McCoy. It's really funny. <laughs> I like the graphics to this battle. It's kind of spooky. You know, the graphics to this battle look nothing like uh, the actual setting of Seaside Town, you know, <laughs> that you're that you're actually on. It's like we actually took the trouble to go out to the to uh, go out of the normal setting to do this battle. <laughs> the red uh, the red sun or moon in the background looks spooky. But wow, we already defeated Dreddy. But yeah, uh, Mallow Mallow actually is pretty good in that battle. Forty experience puts well. Uh, so Mallow would have been good because it actually is weak to thunder or weak to lightning. And we hadn't even really used the shocker attack very much. So what horrible surprises might await Mario now because Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. So y'all, it's getting interesting. We got the shed key to Mario. Knowing you, it must have been easy knocking out old Yard, eh? By the way, my pirates saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of them Smithy's nasty friends. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading down. Drop in every Drop, drop by whenever you have time, okay? And then our friend Johnny. So Johnny is actually, Johnny actually is a good guy. So let's unlock the shed and see what's in here, right? Eh? Oh man, look at all these people that were trapped. Phew, thanks so much. Hey, Bella, you got us out of a bun. It was mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn and see you there. And here's a real elder. elder. Oh, Mario, thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. You exposed the fake townspeople and gave up your star to save us. Please take this with our thanks. And we received a flower box. Like I said earlier, the item, re uh, the item you receive uh, is less and less the more you let them get tortured, you know, the more times you refuse. But uh, I really have maxed that on items, so go ahead and use a couple of those. And well, now we have 72 flower points, which is really good. So uh, you can go through these various item, uh, various shops now, and these are the, what the shops should be like. And I'm, I'm going to save that beetle shop for last. But uh, I don't... Yeah, we can get some new items here. Troop of Shell and... Uh, Parasail for Peach. So, yeah, man. Uh, also, you can get some old items, and you know, I don't know why you'd want to get any of those older items. <laughs> but you can if you so choose. But, ribbit Stick for Mallow. Bowser, uh, the Hurley Clubs is. Bowser really doesn't get too many weapons throughout this game, ironically enough. I think he only gets. I think he gets two more weapons. So, we'll see what y'all have. Mm, I think we already have all that. Nah. I don't think we got... 
Yeah, we did. Yeah, we already had that. I just bought that like an idiot. I thought we had it, but I wasn't thinking. Alright. Anyway, I have enough coins anyway. We got so many coins in that sunken ship. I'll see what's in here. And this is a health food store where we can get mushrooms and honey syrups and all that good stuff. So... <laughs> Don't really think I need that Yoshi candy, even though it does recover 100 HP. Definitely will sell those pure waters, though. Mm, debating. Yeah, don't really think I need it. Because uh, Max and Mushrooms are actually even better. So, now let's go to this shop. Mushroom Boy Shop. Hey, 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 I'm the Mushroom Boy. Did you know that hidden amongst the regular mushrooms are special mushrooms? So, uh, so what we actually have to do is here, you could actually go to the forest and get, you know, there are tons of mushrooms in the forest. Uh, and you can bring some of those to him. Most often, they're just regular plain mushrooms. But every once in a while, uh, you'll find there are special ones hidden amongst the regular ones. And, ooh, this one's a berry mushroom. I'll give you a maple syrup. Oh, boy, I'm stiff. So, actually, you can come out ahead because mushrooms are really cheap. Whereas, uh, you know, maple syrups are quite expensive in comparison. But, uh, the good thing is you have the health food store right next door. So, you can just keep buying mushrooms. And, uh, some of them are berry mushrooms. And some of them are actually flower mushrooms. So, you can actually get flowers. So I bought four more, so let's go ahead and give them those and see what they are. Let's see if we're lucky. Ooh, wee! This is most excellent. It's a flower mushroom. Give, so we got us a flower tab. So yes, indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and give them all these. And what? Another one? Two in a row? I don't think that's ever happened to me. <laughs> this mushroom dude is so funny. So that's just a regular. So let's see what our last one is. And that's just a regular. All right, but hey, we got a two flower tabs. So, so uh, I think that's really all there is. You have the berry one, which uh, be a maple syrup, and then you have the flower flower one, which would be a flower tab, which is great. So let's see what this woman here has. Yeah, and yes, we know accessories are definitely a must in this game. But you don't have anything I need, honey. I'm sorry. So, uh, you can stop by the end there if you so wish. But, uh, and we might as well. I don't know if we really need to stay or not. Let's see how much it costs. Only 15 cool ones? Might as well stay. Even though I think everything's maxed out after that your rid of big battle. But, might as well stay, eh? We have tons of coins. <laughs> Go ahead and save our progress. And uh, next, I guess we'll go ahead and show off that beetle game. That beetle, that beetle store. And this is kind of interesting. Beetles are us instead of toys are us. Beetles are us. So uh, run a beetle store here and yes, yeah, go ahead and give me an explanation. First, you need to purchase a beetle box, which is 50 coins. Then you go to Booster Hill and you catch beetles. And then when it's filled with beetles, you'll see how much each one costs. And so a male is 50 coins, and female is one coin, and a golden beetle is one frog coin. So so uh, let's go ahead and uh, pay the initiation fee. Ugh, 100 coins. But the good thing is you never have to pay the initiation fee again. So uh, <laughs> we actually need to get 100 over 150 coins to uh, break even. So, uh, because it costs 150 for the beetle box. Now, you only can use the beetle box once. Every successive time, you have to pay for a new beetle box. So, that's kind of that kind of stings. But so uh, this is just like with the booster hill, with the where you chasing booster when you had total. Same thing. You can jump on the barrels, and then you can jump on the snippets as well. And uh, you want to try to catch these beetles. You want to try to cut, catch them. And uh, you do not... Oh, I already got one. That's pretty good. And you do not want to uh, get hit by the barrels or the snippets. Because that will slow you down. 
And, uh, I, you know, I'm not too crazy about this minigame. It is kind of fun, but, uh, you know, if you're going to grind for frog coins, it's not near as good as uh, the uh, Midas River minigame. Even though I'm not crazy about it as well. And there's a thing coming up that's even, you know, if you're going to grind for frog coins, there's something I'm going to show you that's really easy and really fast. And, uh, that, of course, that, uh, whack a, uh, whack a mole mini. It's not whack a mole, is it? I forgot what the heck it was. That, uh, in the pie ball, that minigame where you had to, <laughs> it wasn't, it was a mole that was leading the minigame. Oh, my goodness, what am I thinking? I'm being crazy now. Uh, you didn't, yeah, whack a goomba. Yeah, goomba stomping. Yeah, that's what it was. It's just, you know, that was a good one, you know, but it eventually got too high to where it wasn't really expedient to try to whack them. I'm really not doing too well at this minigame here. I'm running my mouth too much, I think. And, uh, I think the females are, I think they're bigger, so, so, uh, they're actually, I think they're bigger. That might be a female there, but I, I honestly don't know. And I think the males are smaller, but honestly, I might be wrong with that. Correct me if I am wrong. I actually got seven flowers when I chased Booster. I don't think I caught seven bugs here, though. Let's over. Let's see how we did. Five beetles. So what? Three female, two male, and zero gold. Well, that kind of sucks. See, there are very many gold. I think there's only like one gold. But I am going to go back here because there is something in total. Uh, Mario, there are no more beetles left. Take your beetle box back. I'll guide you out now. No. Okay, whatever. Toad, just get out of my business. Man, I tell you, always in my business. Now, uh, it may seem like there's nothing here. There aren't any beetles or anything. Uh, but, there is something. And I'm going to skip ahead uh, because there are actually some flowers on the top of this hill here. And Mario Pennington, I think in one of the comments, he actually pointed that out. But uh, after you pass all the barrels, there are actually a couple flowers to get. So I'm going to skip ahead until we get. All right, everybody. So we passed all the barrels. So we should be getting relatively close to where there actually is something. And, yep, you hear the fly. Oh, man, I missed it. You'll hear like a little flower sound that uh, that you'll hear. So we missed the one. So you want to be kind of in the center. But the second one is on the left. So we got it, fortunately. And, I, man, I really love the background of that. Now, earlier on, you could actually see the volcano and you could see the sword in Bowser's castle. But uh, since we've gotten to the top of the hill, you can't see all that now. But yeah, I really love the graphics in this game. They're awesome. So congratulations. Whew, what a workout. All right, so now we're still not going to go to Land's End yet. Um, go, go back to Seaside Town and... Uh, the Beatles are us. We got us 103 coins. So actually, we took a loss. We lost 47 coins from that. But if I wanted to, I could buy another Beetle Box for 50, and then I could try again and hopefully have better luck and you know maybe eventually come out here. Maybe even get a frog coin, but we're not going to do that. Mario, if it's a star that you're looking for, I may be able to help you. On the far side, there's a town called Land's Inn. A mouse came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll find it. And let's see. Let's see what you have here. And, uh, well, we could afford that, but uh, the only really thing that I'd want is uh, the thing that costs 50. And uh, it cuts our flower points in half, but we only have 14, so we got have quite a while to go to get enough for that. But we're not going to go to Land's Inn yet. So uh, you do have to talk to the Elder before that way will open it to, to Land's Inn. But uh, we are going to go to Yost Isle because there's something that I do want to show there. That I want, do want to talk about. So the Yoshis are still enjoying racing together, all that. Boshi's still sitting in the back. You see that little egg get hatched. So we're going to saddle up on Yoshi. Now there's something interesting regarding this egg. Uh, what you have to do is you can uh, you can talk to this pink Yoshi and you know as before you can get us you can keep getting cookies from it and you can keep feeding this Yoshi uh, cookies 
And I think if you give him a total of, I think 30, maybe 50, maybe 50, you'll get a frog coin. Uh, but it takes forever to do that. Now, there's also something else. And you also see Raz and Rain here. So, uh, <laughs> Raz can't even hop on Yoshi. How did you do that? <laughs> but, uh, what you can do is, um, you can, you can actually race here. And you have to give that Yoshi 10 cookies at the same time. And, uh, you'll get something called a Yoshi aid. And I'm going to go back to Rose Town here because uh, there's also something else to do here. But you can get a Yoshi aid, which uh, is just like a Geno boost. So it actually is really good, but not worth the time trying to get. Hi, I'm the gardener. I've spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it, but I couldn't find them. Oh, oh you poor dude. Well, maybe we can help him out. Uh, because we will definitely want to help him out. I want to show that off because... We will definitely be coming to see that gardener later on because of uh, some very interesting developments regarding him. So let's go to Booster Tower because there's some stuff to do here. Uh, midway through the tower, I'm going to meet y'all there because of uh, something neat. So see y'all there. All right, so uh, coming in from here. Oh, we see Knife Guy. What's he doing here? Huh? Let's talk to old Knife Guy. He, 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 he. I'm really, really sorry about before. Here, I'll make it up to you. Hee ha! Are we having fun yet? Hee hee hee. Okay, that was just practice. This time it's for real. Yep, dude. Hee <laughs> hee. Guess which hand the yellow ball is in, if you can. Now watch carefully. All right, so what we want to do is we do want to watch carefully, and if you watch really, really closely, uh, you want to just touch the hand that you think the yellow ball is in. And uh, it's really not too hard at first, and you get some really sucky items like wilt shrooms and uh, rotten shrooms and all that stuff. Uh, and you just want to pretty much throw them away, put them in the waste basket. So it won't take long to fill up the uh, inventory. But uh, after 12, you have to get 12 points. And uh, when you lose, you actually lose a point. So that really sucks, and it doesn't take long to fill up your inventory. Um, so we just want to keep throwing those away. But uh, after 12 points, you will uh, get something cool, which I'll let y'all see. And I'm probably going to cut until I actually get it, because this might take a little while. Um, and uh, on like the... When you get to like 10 points, he'll do it really, really fast. It's not too bad until then. Um, but he will do it faster. So I'm just going to skip ahead until I actually get this... Oh man, y'all, he's doing it real fast. Oh, we got a max mushroom. I think that was my live, my 11th point. And uh, you get a pretty good prize there. Sometimes you'll get something different. Yeah, you saw it was really fast. Whoa, congratulations, you deserve this. And we got the bride card. Huh, and we're fixing to find out what that will do. Let's throw away that rod and mush so we can get a bride card. It'll let you into my brother's casino, wherever that is. All right, so it'll actually let us into Great Guy, his brother's casino. You know, that other guy that we battled at the same time with Night Guy? Knife Guy. Not Night Guy, my goodness. But uh, we're actually not done at Booster Tower. There is one more thing I want to show. Let's go and visit our friend Booster. So let's continue climbing his, his tower and race the top. Let's see what Booster's up to. After all, he's not a bad guy. He's just a little, little uh, crazy, you know. All right, y'all, so here we are back in this room with the, the bird in the cage and Mario doll still on the floor, and here is Booster at the top. I wonder where my next bride to be will come from this guy. Oh, man. So he's still waiting. He's still, just like with Toad, so he's waiting on his next one to fall. Look at that peach doll and stuff in that box. Yeah, I really, I really like Booster Tower. Really, really good to revisit the place. We'll come back and visit Booster again, too. Don't worry. All right, everybody, so we just exited uh, Booster Tower. We got to the bottom, and so I just wanted to show those little few side quest things off and kind of show you what's going on here about the gardener in Rose Town and his little predicament, and uh, also Yoshi, the Yoshi aide. And uh, next time, we're going to move on to Land's End. Hope you enjoyed this part. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay awesome, y'all. Have a great day. Goodbye.